everyone. Uh, welcome to the online conference. My name is Huda Galagolabi. I work as a child protection program officer in emergency for Plan International UK. And I'm here to give you an overview of a study which has been commissioned by Plan UK on child modern day slavery in emergencies. Um, I hope uh, you'll enjoy it. Uh, so firstly, I just thought giving you an, uh, an overview of the um, objective of this study. Uh, we would want to um, clarify the notion of what is meant by modern day slavery, uh, particularly related to children. Um, looking at the normative framework, um, and definition of modern day slavery. We also wanted to provide an analysis of the drivers that may increase the risks of boys and girls uh, being subjected to various forms of slavery during emergencies and also contribute to evidence-based programmatic responses um, and finally provide an initial set of pro programmatic recommendations on ways uh, stakeholders, especially practitioners, can identify, mainstream and mitigate the responses to child modern day slavery during emergency and also in fragile context. Uh, so just take you through briefly to the findings uh, so far. Um, so when it comes to the definition, it was um, noted from the beginning that there were so many de definitions out there and there was some sort of confusion among amongst stakeholders at, as what slavery meant in the 21st century uh, and it seemed like they were there was um, confusion created by those who had a strict um, legal interpretation of various uh, relevant international instruments and those uh, anti-slavery activists who wanted to have a broader um, definition of slavery. So for the purpose of this study, we, we, we considered both of these um, uh, understandings or these interpretations by looking at the uh, the the, slave, uh, the Slavery Convention of 1926 definition and its supplementary convention, but also the ILO laws and uh, in international humanitarian law uh, uh, provisions, as well as uh, looking at other human rights conventions to, to see if we can come up with or give a clear definition as of what uh, what modern day slavery means or slavery would mean in the 21st century. Um, so the study, uh, as, as it currently stands, uh, came to conclude that modern day slavery or child modern day slavery is uh, exploitation of a child uh, who is under control of ownership of another uh, private person or another person and within this uh, definition we have included uh, that the components of slavery sh should include control, coercion, uh, ownership um, and restriction of movement whereas the individual do not have um, an ability to leave that situation, particularly a child doesn't have an ability to leave that situation. This definition uh, takes mainly into consideration the legal normative framework and we were able to define main, mainly four forms of uh, a child modern day slavery. So these are one, 
forced and bonded labor. Uh, the second form which we identified based on the definition was child trafficking for exploitation and this can be various forms for sexual exploitation or labor or other types of exploitation. Um, recruitment of children, boys and girls into armed groups and armed forces. And then we got um, forms of forced and servile marriage. Um, we recognize by looking at the definition that, that these practices involve elements of coercion, ownership, and create an inability for a child to leave or give their informed consent. This is particularly um, an issue identified for children under the age of 16 and particularly for those forms of modern day slavery related to forced marriage or servile marriage whereas children under 16 are not considered having um, enough maturity to give an informed consent. Uh, just to go a little bit further into uh, so the study gives an overview of all these forms of child labor or all these forms of um, slavery type practices which, ch which children can be involved in various um, types of emergencies including slow onset of emergencies rapid onset conflict and and environmental uh, situations. Um, so the analysis, when it comes to the analysis and drivers, we were able to identify that there are conditions uh, that put children more at risk of modern day slavery. And that these condition affects boys and girls being involved in various forms of uh, slavery in a different way. And this is mainly due to the fact that during emergencies or when emergencies hit um, communities, they disrupt systems in place, particularly weak systems, um, uh, child, weak child protection systems, and create a vacuum for, for example, traffickers, armed groups, criminals, to exploit children. But also, uh, we also recognize that emergencies and conflict uh, situations and situations of displacement deepen poverty and uh, forcing unaccompanied and separated children and parents and communities to, to, to create conditions um, that may lead to child modern day slavery. As an example, by trying to reduce parents, by trying to reduce um, financial burdens, they may marry off their daughters um, to get some extra income, uh, normally to older men, uh, without really intending to expose that child to a modern, uh, a slavery type um, condition. Also, uh, some parents may expose children uh, to situation of forced and bonded labor or even trafficking by, uh, by again, trying to address the, the, the poverty or the, the situation of uh, to reduce financial burden, which is on them, uh, which has been becoming more and more prevalent, uh, for example, during the Syri Syrian crisis, whereas children have been exposed to basically trade off uh, for marriage and uh, forced to various forms of bonded uh, bonded labor or forced labor. Also, um, the study which has been commissioned. Um, 
intend to uh, give an overview or examples of programs which have been uh, uh, um, implemented by Plan International in four different countries. So here we're going to um, give four case studies uh, for practitioners uh, to see how various forms of modern day slavery has been uh, addressed. So one of these case studies uh, uh, involves the, an anti-trafficking project which was carried out in, in the context of Nepal uh, following the earthquake in 2015. Um, where the, way the plan international was trying to address the issue through um, or mitigate further trafficking of children in the district of Tsindupal Chok through provision of livelihood and uh, educational support but also through strengthening the community-based child protection systems. The second case study is on Central African Republic and, and the plan's response to um, preventing the risk of children uh, who had, who had, who had uh, or at risk to children who may be uh, exposed to um, recruitment into armed forces and also re reintegration of children who had been previously involved with armed groups um, by um, addressing this issue through the community-based uh, child protection systems and provision of educational services. And the third case study, which we will be focusing on uh, uh, and documenting, is reintegration of uh, girl girls who had previously been abducted by by Boko Haram in uh, in Nigeria um, and see how through various interventions uh, the needs of the girls can be addressed following or within an emergency context um, and obviously a very very sensitive one uh, and the fourth case study is also on um, on the prevention side and includes the interventions plan carried out following the typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines in 2013. Um, so we are now currently waiting for, um, for the analysis of all of these case studies to put together uh, recommendations on what was what were the good practices uh, and and promising practices, not only based on these case studies, but also um, case studies uh, or practices by other humanitarian organizations or other organizations which address one or two or any other forms of uh, slavery like practices which have been identified through this study. Um, so hopefully the study would give the practitioners um, uh, a, some good recommendations and also look at the programmatic gaps uh, what we may have been missing out and what should be further uh, explored uh, in order to address various forms of modern day slavery uh, so indeed a very exciting study we believe and uh, uh, since there has been a gap within this field to cover and understand how in emergencies this issue can be addressed um, uh, this is um, a study which can further provide some input to the practitioners because the issue of modern day slavery or slavery in general has normally been addressed through a development lens um, but we do recognize through this study that again child protection is issues exacerbate during emergencies and it is there is a need to really for practitioners to be able to identify um, uh, exacerbated risks to worse forms of uh, child protections in emergencies and how they can address this um, so we are looking forward to the outcomes and uh, 
are open to Plan International is very open to re receive requests and recommendations as well and questions uh, once the study has been carried out. Thank you very much for having me here and uh, I hope you find this interesting and that you will uh, also approach us uh, in the near future um, when we launch an event uh, following the completion of the study. Thank you very much. I wish you a pleasant day.